Mega Wannan and well met and welcome back to the final episode of this uh, Elder Scrolls Legend Arena. It is going to end this episode one way or another. Either I win or I lose. And I lost the last time. That's actually a good creature to start with. I think I need to keep him, even though he's not so good. No, I'm not going to keep him. Risk it. Okay, not too terrible. I can play her on turn two. Oh, I should have kept the Khajiit, and it would have, uh, ha it would have at least been able to kill that. Nonsense. That works too. And you have a rift, a dark rift, and you had it now. Unfortunate. Uh, well, you kill that, of course. And I think I play Keeper of the Whisperers. Because that lets me have something on the board against this dude, which likes to have many creatures on board, and I think that is quite important. Okay, the Skooma Racketeer will let me clear that. And I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. This one I'm not going to let this here. person and AI have any creatures if I can avoid it. Because me, that's sir. how he wins. I how I okay, okay, okay. Playing the Guardian here. And the Bretton Conjurer for safety. Probably. The elements are mine to control. That's fine. Should have attacked here first though. And I should have done that. No, it doesn't matter. Uh okay, good. I keep a spare blade in my boot. That's fine. Please attack. He shouldn't, but please. Ooh, that's sneaky. That's sneaky. That's very sneaky. I approve. And then he doesn't attack. You what, mate? What? Huh? Okay. So... Lightning bolting this... Killing that... Maybe? I think that's what I have to do and then do something wonky over here. I don't like this side at all. No. No, no, no. I'm sure he's going to get a um, a big thing next turn. Next turn I can Shorus Reaper and can clear a lot of this nonsense, but no, I need I need to do this. I could give that one a ward. What would be much more likely is that I give this side a board actually. I'm going to do just that, I think. Give the Khajiit a ward. And trade here, kill that, and deal one damage there. And now he gets a Storm Ordrenach. Which is unfortunate, but inevitable. That's actually good. That's really, really good. Easy kill. Um, and I am going to give this one a ward. For the simple reason that he likes wards. To have a ward. Okay, good. More damage. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Bring him down. Protecting against that one and having more wards. Oh, god damn it, to get a ward. Oh, it gave him to himself. What? No! My Breton. Alright, alright. Well, this one will kill that. Or that. Hmm. And I can go face. Let's go face Customers first. Only. Your blood will spill. Good. And... I think this side is in more danger, so I'm going to place it here. Yes. 
and then I can make sure that nothing on this side dies by giving a ward and a maple shield. Hmm. Kinda tempted to do just that, just to make sure that none of these die, but I don't think I'm going to do All both. Too simple. Which one do I need to win? I need one of them to survive. This one is much more likely to survive. Meaning I will give her a ward. Like so. And hope for the best. Your blood will spill. Of course. Oh no. Well it's fine. Not that one. Okay, I'm one of lethal. I'm no longer one of lethal. So this is how you do it. You bring him down her down to seven. And kill. Brilliant. Fantastic. And now we have two tries against the leader. Ooh, this is exciting. I might actually win an arena. This one. Simply because of the burst potential, which I think we might need. Okay, so now we see what type of deck it is. <laughs> And it is a yellow purple one. Fantastic. Lots of minions, lots of annoying minions. What could be better? His champion's personal guardsmen will be tough to overcome. Alright, alright. That's good, I like you and the starting hand, I don't like you too. Good, perfect curve. <laughs> Placing him here, I think. Yep. Then I can place this one next turn. There's Maybe there? Fire. I don't know. Ooh, always that's fire. bad. Maybe not. I'm going to place the Dunmanite Blade here. Simply because that one is there and it might trade there. Otherwise, it might trade with that one and deal damage somewhere. You won't spoil my plan. But much more likely is he won't trade. Charge. I could give lethal to this one, kill that one, and kill that one. And then have a lethal one here. And I kind of like it. I think I'm going to do that because I need to lower his defenses quickly. Yeah. And I also get a sword, which might be good to have. And I think that was good, because now if he plays anything here, I can kill it. Unfortunate, but unavoidable, I think. Okay, 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 okay. I can steal sword this one and kill that one. I think I'm going to do th just that. Because keeping a clean board is so incredibly important, I think. Otherwise he's go just going to keep summoning big things and I can't do anything against them. And they are even bigger now because he has that annoying thing. Tell you what, Die let's hope this clears the board. Of course it didn't. Uh, play this one. <laughs> Protect that. I think so, but let's do some damage first. And then I will play this guy. Yes. It will, at it will at least trade. And hopefully that will be fine. All right, men. On me. What? Summon a 2 2 Colonial Trope of Grad in each lane when friendly creature is destroyed. General Talius gains plus one plus one. Oh my god. That's not unfair. No, no, no. No, no, no. Not unfair at all. Oh my god. Playing this one here and then having this one next turn. Don't like it. I think I need to kill that. Customers only. Oh, I need to pass you. Bloody hell. Come and visit your judgment. Well, let's play him there. Is there any point in attacking? Not really. Just buffs him. That's so strong a card, especially with this effect. <laughs> I 
I do that because then I can do Chorus Reaper next turn and hopefully do something cool. I don't expect I can, especially not since that happened, even though that was kind of a waste of it. Kill them all. Shackle a creature, I like it, I like it. Siege catapult, oh my god, this is going to get so bad. I would like to arrow in the knee that one, but then I can't kill that. Well, I could with this one. I think that's what I'm going to have to do. Play this one, give that one a buff, kill that, and shackle this one. Make sure that Tullius doesn't do anything stupid. This one has nothing to do on this side, let's be honest. So let's place her there. So she can maybe at least do some damage. Oh, of course. Yeah, that's not... no. No, that's not helpful. Not helpful at all. I just think I need to go for damage at this moment. Is a five There's no other choice. I need to go for a kill. I can buff this one, dealing um, a lot of damage next turn. Hopefully getting a good prophecy. Oh no, not that one. I hate that card. It's so bloody strong. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I can give this a lot of buffs. And it can attack twice. For the reach, I need to go for together. it. I don't even have time to count. Which is usually usually bad. <laughs> to it is lethal if it gets both attacks off. Come on. No! It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It can't pop it there. It just can't. I win. I win. I won! Fantastic! Yes! Finish the arena as champion. Though that was really close. I think had I chosen to try and start trading and killing those things, I would s have lost so quickly because I cannot keep up with loads of big creatures with this deck. It was a rush deck, which is exactly what I did, and it worked nice. Myrmidion. Myrmidion. Nine wins. Maximum amount of wins. Let's see A what fun things I get. <laughs> Promotion reward. Lots of gold. I like when they fall down on, on the table. It looks cool. 500 shards. Oh my god. I believe uh, the shard exchange rate for cards of different rarities is the same in this game as in Hearthstone. So just bear that in mind. Ooh, two compacts, nice. If you want to change and create cards, I'm quite certain it's the same rate. Can't quite remember, but I think it's 1600 for legendary, 400 for an epic maybe, 100 and so on. I can't quite remember. Let's open some packs and see what we get. Okay, let's just open them all up. Mm, it's fine. Too aggressive for my taste. I think I don't like the random nature of this. That's Oh, I thought it had a random damage. I must have been misreading it because I have always read this to be damage to a random enemy creature, but apparently not. This one is quite cool. Of course fits perfectly in a Su deck. Quite annoyingly so. This one is quite fun, quite good. Rush deck, anyone? Especially combat now, maybe. I actually like this card because it is very versatile and allows you to keep something alive that would otherwise die. Really good. She's fine. A 1-0 steel dagger is not bad. And she costs 1 and probably trades with something. This person or high elf is cool. Yeah, I think it's cool. This one is also. And I don't really like that card. A little bit too co costly for what it does. Let's just have a look at what new cards I got. New. Just one. 
that one, and that was the upgrade card. Okay, but I really like the card. Oops. Let's go look at that. So, as can be seen here, I have really only... I don't actually want this one, I'm going to delete it. But as you can see, it is named Archer. If I remove this one, these ones, add this one, and for instance that one, we get the Crusader. Maybe we want a Warrior. We tried that one already, didn't we? Battle Mage and so on, and I think it's just a nice little addition feature. You can of course rename the deck if you want, and you can change the background picture. This card is really good, uh, if you want. And uh, yeah, I really like that. All in all, I think that this is a very, very good game. Really quite fun to play, really de <laughs> demands strategy. As you could see in f many of those different arena battles, there were times when you needed to know when to start going face instead of trading, as in the last battle. And in some cases where you needed to know how best to utilize your different cards and combine them across different lanes so that you had control over them and so on. Of course, that was only a fight against the AI and it might be much tougher against um, against against human players. I have been playing up to rank 8 so far. This is quite funny, before you fall down out of the shadow rank, you get an extra chance, I get, guess. If you fall down here, then you fall down to the lower rank. It's quite nice to have that buffer. And they also have a reward system. You can see here, if you reach these three milestones, you will get a copy of the season card. I have no idea what the card is, but if I reach the thief, I guess that is, then I will receive three copies of it at the end of the season. So that is quite a nice uh, incentive for you to play. I have a I can presume it is not a common card, probably something uh, like an epic card, potentially a legendary card, though I wouldn't be too certain, because then you get three legendary cards from this, and that seems a little bit too nice. Of course, playing these quests, you can re-roll them. I'm actually going to re-roll that one, don't like it. And play 10 support cards, much better. Should have re-rolled before the arena, nevertheless. And, of course, the titles. I like these. Nice little addition. The Daedric Master. Cool. And so on and so forth. I, all in all, I think this is a really fun game. Really gorgeous looking with all the art. I particularly love the art of the cards. They are not too popping. They are muted, natural, nice looking cards. And I just want to look at them and play with them. And it's so much fun. And, yeah. I cannot recommend this enough. I think it is awesome and you should try it if you have a chance. But that is all for me and have a nice rest of the day or whatever it is and we shall see and I shall see you or you shall see me the next time.